Hey y'all, welcome to Critters for Dinner, I'm Patton. I'm Jason, how you doing Patton? I'm doing pretty good, boy, we got so much stuff to go over today. What's what for dinner? Doing? What's for oh. dinner tonight? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not, I get over excited. Okay, I, I'm gonna, I, it's a dish that I've actually had. When I was little, we had them all the time. And that's fried frog legs, okay? Oh. Frog legs, potato salad, and pinto beans. That's a good that's meal. My, yeah. I like frog legs, yeah. I mean, they weren't my favorite, but I remember being little, and like my cousin Ricky, he threw them in the pan and he goes, look, they're hopping. And like, cause they, and we, we scream, we scream bloody murder. Because they were just so gross. And then they pick them up and like lick the foot, you know? But yeah, so we're hillbilly. That, that's just how that goes, I guess. It, it reminds me of the Muppet movie. Doesn't, isn't there like a cook trying to <laughs> cook Kermit the Frog? <laughs> what well, they the, look, 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 guys. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think I don't remember I that can't. one. It's been a while. It's the original Muppet movie. I think they're trying to cook Kermit. No, no. <laughs> he says Kermit the Frog here. Kermit the, <laughs> Kermit the Frog. Kermit the Frog. Okay, so what? What? What do we got trending on Twitter today? Okay, first and foremost, I guess we're gonna have to talk about the Diddler. Oh yeah, yeah. That's P. Diddy. And then let's call him the diddler because he diddles. <laughs> 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 he got jumped on an airplane and went to Maui or somewhere, and they even called him. I'm not sure if they actually had a warrant for his arrest, but they raided his ginormous freaking mansion. And his ex-girlfriend and I think one of his producers, ex-friends, whatever, said that he was sex trafficking, drug trafficking. They said, you know, they called him donkeys. And I thought when I saw the news about P. Diddy and a donkey, I thought, you know, donkey butt. <laughs> this like he likes the girls with the big butts. <laughs> 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 but no, it was a donkey as in a drug trafficker or sex trafficking in this case. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so is that a mule? Do they call that a mule or a donkey? It might be a mule. <laughs> <laughs> I just said, I'm not 100% sure. I don't think it's a, I think it's a mule. I think a mule is known for running drugs and stuff like that. I will, donkey, I'm not known maybe, to say. Maybe in Alabama they do it with donkeys. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not known to say things correctly all the time, Jason. I almost didn't even correct you, but I had to. I couldn't not. That's too funny. Correct me any time. I like making fun of me, too. We have a great time together. <laughs> so, so P. Diddy basically was doing all the stuff Epstein was doing. Yeah. Oh, and I think, I think, because he, he took off on this private jet, right? And yeah. it's so funny, because the news cameras are there. The FBI, FBI, whoever it is, is down there around his house. It, like, cameras on him watching him creep around his property, you know? And I'm like, somebody could call him. <laughs> you know, easy. But he jumps on his plane and then goes who knows where because they don't have the extradition. Am I saying that right, Jason? <laughs> <laughs> extradition? Yeah. Over there in Maui. So, um, I think he's got, I think he's got dirt. To be yeah. honest, I think he has got dirt on some people, just like, you know, Epstein, you know, at least I saw a meme earlier that says, just in case nobody told you, P. Diddy didn't kill himself. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. That's true. It's going to happen, right? We all mm -hmm. know this. We all know this. It's Yeah, everything's going to come out in the wash, okay? Everything comes out in the wash, and it was like Pat Williams, he said in 2024, all these people are going down. And yeah. he might sound like a crazy little comedian to y'all, but that man does speak truth. I'm telling he's you, when I, a lot of people, when they first hear him, they think he is crazy, but he's he's just telling it the way it is. I'm telling you, through history, the crazy people are the ones who end up telling the truth. And eventually, you know, in history, it's like, oh, they thought they were crazy. Threw them in prison, even. And then yeah. those things that they said turned out to be true. Yeah. So you got you to listen to those crazy people every now and then. Can you? So I listen to you. It's fine. Can you name one? <laughs> can you name one P Diddy song? Um, that just one. It's every breath I take. That one. That, that's <laughs> the only one that pops in my head. That's the I only can't name the one. Only one because yeah, that was after Biggie died. I mean, you know, I used to be a thug. No, not really. But. <laughs> <laughs> You're living that but thug you life. Know, 
Yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, down in the mountains, I'm living that bird life. Yeah. You know? <laughs> <laughs> well, oh, speaking though, speaking though of like rapper stingers, okay. You know what else is trending on Twitter? What? Beyonce and Jolene. Uh, yeah. She apparently she's been doing that country album, and you know I shared a post because I love Miley Cyrus's version of it, and uh, Dolly Parton obviously is her uh, godmother. I didn't know if you knew that. But, uh, you know, I listened to it, and Beyonce has a beautiful voice. There's no doubt about that at all. My only issue with her is her association with certain secret societies and the nasty, awful things that they do. So, yeah. in my brain, I'm like, how in the world? And I know Dolly allowed it. She had to. That's her thought. But knowing what goes on with them, how could you allow someone like that to uh, do, a, you know, do your song? Well, is it? She's married to Jay Z, right? Yeah. And Jay Z is linked in with Diddy. Yeah, and the Illuminati. Yeah, 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 they for are, sure. Yeah, they're supposed to be like the prince and princess of the Illuminati. That's not. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all didn't see that, but they held up. They held up one of those Illuminati symbols. <laughs> it's over his eye. <laughs> That's gonna be my new pro. That's gonna be my new profile picture right there. <laughs> no, you're gonna start getting emails. I didn't even. I've never watched Illuminati, but all of a sudden, I started getting all these emails and DMs on Twitter yeah. from Illuminati saying that you have such potential. I don't got nothing. Y'all just want to eat me or something, something <laughs> like that. They want to put me in a bathtub. They want to put me in a bathtub and make a hillbilly sacrifice for Beyonce's new album. It's what it is. They have to sacrifice the hillbilly. <laughs> So that, so that her album will be a hit, and I'm not, I'm not taking the bait, okay? Mama didn't raise no dummy. Mama didn't raise no dummy, okay? <laughs> I'm sorry. That's funny. That's funny. Um, thank you. It's true oh. that's how I feel. I feel like they're gonna string me up by my ankles, you know, and yeah. whip me with I don't know, like corn husks. Or something, and trying to whip the hillbilly out of me so she can steal my essence. <laughs> That's funny. Um, okay, so what else we got? So I, I don't know. I saw something, but I don't know. I'm hoping you can fill me in. What's going on with Crowder? Okay, uh, his, we all know he's going through a divorce. Okay, yeah. and apparently, I guess somebody used to work on the show, and it's a family member, an uncle maybe, or her uncle, or her dad. It's something like that. I'm not sure about that, but they have been, in the past year, trying to go on, like, a media bass about um, Crowder, okay? And he has tried to stay in silence. I did watch this show this morning. It was um, Gerald A. Yeah. Uh, he was talking about it, and he said that they tried to keep quiet, and they offered her all the money or whatever, but apparently, like, They've been trying to take away his dog, take away his friends, and put whatever out media-wise, you know, that could hurt him so yeah. that he would give them more money. Uh, they do try to take away the kids, but it's more like just uh, making him suffer, you yeah. know? And I, I, I can understand that, too, because, I mean, I don't want to po poke in nobody's personal business, but it's yeah. out there now, you know? Yeah. And I did see, I saw the tape of him yelling at her, his wife, his pregnant wife. And he yeah. was he was saying some awful stuff, awful stuff. But once again, when you don't know the whole story, you should not judge nobody. And it sounds to me like they're trying to blackmail Crowder with some stuff. And he signed the guy who's doing it apparently signed up. What do you call it? I'm gonna say DNA, but it's NDA. NDA. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, yeah. He signed an NDA about what he's talking about, so now Crowder is suing him. Yeah. And I think that's what's going on with that. The problem is every time you hear like one guy's side of the story, you're like, oh, yeah, I believe mm -hmm. that. Then you hear the other side. It's like, oh, yeah, I kind of believe that, too. It's I don't mm -hmm. even know if we know the real truth. We just are hearing two sides of a messed up story. Right. But, I mean, we all have seen someone associated with him have a new show. <laughs> and it's somebody that I love dearly as a comedian. And he keeps quiet, which is wonderful. I mean, he has manners. So yeah. he keeps quiet about the situation, but, you know, the little innuendos and the jokes about certain things that did happen on Crowder, I tend to believe because, I mean, you can yeah. watch him and see. <laughs> yeah, now, he's burned through a lot of people. And yeah. um, it usually when you notice a pattern, there's a reason for that pattern. Right, right. Yeah. It, it seems like it could be pretty bad on both ends. 
I guess we're just going to have to watch how it pans out. I want to ask you about something. Okay. This Listen, we're at 10 minutes. Fish. We're at 10 minutes. We got to go. Okay, ask me. Quick. <laughs> okay, I about Mike Tyson's little gummy ear edibles. Oh, we, yeah. We gummy. Yeah. Mike Tyson has some little ears with a chunk of it bitten out, and he's selling them, <laughs> and I want some so bad. <laughs> I'd do, I'd do some Mike Tyson edibles. I would too. I mean, if they could call me that down, they could call me anybody down. Is what I'm thinking. Yeah. <laughs> I would do edibles with Mike Tyson. Oh, that'd be a bit scary, wouldn't it? <laughs> I don't know, what if he went mad? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would be scary. Okay, hey, we're okay, at ten that's... minutes. We're at ten minutes. Uh -oh. Say, how do people find you? Yeah, how do people find you? Come to Twitter, X, and find General Patton, 83. I'm also on YouTube. You can find Jason on there. What's your handle, Jason? Uh, on Twitter, it's Bigfoot, B-I-G-G-F-0-0-T. And uh, on the right. podcast, Critters for Dinner, it's everywhere. So just search for it on your favorite podcast app, and you'll find it. Yeah, people are talking about it. They love us. I, they and do I love, love them. us. I just want to... I want to tell everybody thank you for that because I appreciate it so much. This is so much fun. Yeah. It really is. And when people do share on Twitter and Facebook and whatever, it really, really, really does help. It does. And it warms my heart that y'all like me. So I love y'all. <laughs> thank you. It does. Okay. It warms hey. my heart. Okay. Say goodbye, Patton. Goodbye, Patton. Bye, Jason. <laughs> See ya. Bye, y'all. <laughs>